Hey, you've seen this space before. It's my atrium. I'm still trying to get it right. You know, it's one of the things I love about living in a mid-century house, but it's also one of my biggest challenges. I think I'm getting closer though, so hang in there. Hey, it's Scott. Welcome to Around the House with Scott, where I give you tips, tricks, and hacks for living better inside, outside, and all around the house. Well, I gotta be honest, I don't know so much about the tips. If you've been subscribing to my channel or following me, you know I've been struggling with trying to figure out what to do with my atrium. As I said, I love having an atrium. It gives a mid-century house a very cool vibe. It creates more natural light by giving me extra windows but it's kind of a no man's land. It's like, what do you do with it? I've had a table and chairs out here. I've had a chaise lounge out here. I've kind of hit on something I think for this season that really works and that's what I like to call blooms, basics, and bubbly. So let's talk about that. From a bloom standpoint, I decided to go with just one single type of flower. These are annual sunflowers and I got them at Armstrong Nursery. They're called Thousand Blooms. I had them last year out in the front yard and they were true to form. These guys bloom all the way till September, and I got them in late May. The birds love them, the bees love them. We're dusk now, so you're not seeing too much activity, but they're just an amazing flower that's low maintenance. You just gotta keep deadheading them. So as far as my basics go, I just decided boxwood. How can you get any more basic and standard traditional than that? They're a great green, they go with everything, and they're very low maintenance. Also basics, these are just some succulents from Home Depot in four inch pots that I've kind of repurposed up here on my lattice. They do get these bright orange blooms that play off the sunflowers nicely, but zero, zero maintenance. And it's just absolutely amazing how simple this can be. Again, it's not gonna be the final solution for the atrium, but for this season, it's totally working. And oh yeah, the bubbly, I've got a fountain in the corner. I've had it for many, many years. It probably needs to be cleaned a little bit, but boy, it's a nice addition, and when I turn it on, it just fills the house with a nice natural sound. So you know what? As we show you the close-ups of my atrium, you get to see the warts and all. You get to see the rough tiles that are actually butterscotch yellow under the gray matte finish that I put on that. We can see that the perimeter plantings aren't finished yet. I've just got some river rock that my dog has been digging through because there's a mouse that's living in the drain pipe. But you get the idea. I think it's there's always an evolution in certain spaces in your house. I don't know if I'll ever get this right, but I'm having fun with the journey and every step is just a little step closer to what I think the ultimate will be. So like I said, whether today you're getting a big tip or not, I'm just showing my evolving side the atrium is getting closer to what I want. I still want to put some artwork on the walls. I still have another lattice panel to deal with. If you've got some ideas for me, I would love it. Because again, an atrium can be a challenging spot, but I'm getting there and we're making some progress. Thanks for watching.